what's up guys it's Flo here and today I'm coming at you guys with a neat little tip slash tutorial for Octane's new metal shader um, they introduced this well it's not a stable release yet but they in 3.0 Eight. Uh, they introduced the octane metal material and yeah some of you might have already played with this but if you go to the index there's something new it's an n factor and a k factor so what does what does the n factor do well basically it's the refractive index of our index of refraction and there's the k value which is in real life the extinction coefficient so to build up uh, real world materials like metal shaders uh, you need those two and in case you're wondering where to find those or how to get those there's a neat little site called refractiveindex.info which basically as you can see there's a shelf 3d selected data for 3d artists and there are various books for pretty much every material or every common material that's used in, in rendering. And yeah, if you go to the metal material, to the book metals, and the page is basically what uh, metal you want to you want to look at. Uh, let's start with aluminium. And as you can see, it gives you the refractive index, which is our n value, and the extinction coefficient, which is the k value. And all you have to do is get the, the material you want to build and just grab those, copy them over. Would you please go back to Chrome? Thank you. Um, and copy them over into your Octane material. Well, the next thing would be to apply this material to our Buddha statue and fire up Octane. Uh, yeah, thank you. Uh, okay, cool. So the next thing is Another new, uh, another new is the BRDF model, um, and the most common used one for metal shaders is the GGX. Uh, most of the time, Backman is used for plastic or non-metal -mater uh, materials, and Ward is the one you would go for if you want to create cloth uh, shaders. So let's go to material type metal and BRDF model GGX. Uh, we already copied in our index, which is in our case for aluminium. And yeah, it's al uh, already looking pretty good, pretty chromey right now. Um, so to build up a nice little, nice aluminium looking thing, um, I always go to specular map, which is the, the way you control your specular intensity in the metal shader. Where's my float texture? Thank you. Uh, I think most of the time it's a little bit too much. Just turning down the diffuse because in real life metal doesn't come with any diffuse colors. Um, yeah, it's a little bit too much for me most of the time. So I tend to turn it down to 0.9 to start out with. Um, depends on the material you want to create, on the metal you want to create. Give it a little bit of roughness and on the specular, uh, to, that's basically where you change your specular color. Um, grab a gradient, set the mode to complex, the texture, use a falloff map, go into the falloff, change it to skew factor 5. Um, the reason why I'm going through this so quickly is because this is not um, a tutorial on how to build a metal material. It's just to show you what the new index, what the new real world physically based uh, N and K IOR is doing for your metal shader. So yeah, um, so you go to the refractive index side and copy in the N and K values and do whatever you want pretty much, but I build up five metal materials just to show you guys uh, what, you can, uh, what you can come up with in just a few seconds. So there we go, that's our aluminum shader, just a little roughness, a little bump and a changed specular color. Then next we got the iron, um, which is kind of a darker one. Don't for don't you ever forget, guys, to get reference images on Google if you want to build something that's from the real world. 
there we got the little copper well I'm, I'm not completely happy with the copper material but it's looking good good starting point here the next thing is the silver material this one's looking pretty nice and last but not least of course gotta keep it gold um, there is our gold material it's pretty shiny uh, uh, nothing worn or something so yeah that's pretty much the whole video guys um, the new metal shader in Octane which is a nice addition if you're well one more thing if you're doing a heavy scene it can increase the render times by a little bit um, that's what I figured out uh, over using it for a few a few days or a couple weeks so to speak um, so yeah just build up your desired materials and thanks for watching guys hope you learned something new and see you in, in my next video Merry Christmas guys